house price trend. KG, what is going on with house prices in the DMV area right now? Are prices trending down? Are they trending up? Are they staying the same? Are they flat? Woo! I want to know. You want to know. Everybody wants to know. So I'm going to talk about that in a minute. Hey there, this is a KGM Realtor with FFX Realty in Greenville, where we help buyers to buy their dream home and sellers to sell their houses. And we do this in the Maryland, DC, and Virginia region. So if you're looking to buy, sell, or move, or invest in real estate, contact us. We'll take care of you. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you get updates once we upload a new video. So house price trend. What is trending? Are they trending down? Are they trending up? Are they saying the same? What is going on? I want to know. Buyers want to know. Sellers want to know. Because this trend affects us, right? So, that being said, you know, we hear a lot of national news, right? Oh, the home prices is going up the road. Home prices is going to drop. Buyers are going to stop. I mean, you hear so many news, but these are national news. As a buyer, as a seller, as a citizen of Maryland, this is Virginia region, you ought to know that every real estate market is local as in where you are or where you want to be is local so when you look at the national news you need to peel behind it and look at what is going on in your state in your county in your city so that being said there's some news that just came out in the last few weeks right that can affect the home prices how that is going to happen it has not be realized right now the first thing is there was a report that came out earlier this week from mortgage brokers association that the number of mortgage application in june dropped oh that is serial right it dropped so there's not a lot of people that are making mortgage application drop by 30 percent drop by 23 percent when you compare it to may of 2021 uh, so the, the the feeling behind that is oh when this that means not a lot of buyers are in the market. Hence, the house prices may actually drop. Listen, that is just their own statistic. We have to come to our local area. The other news is the price of lumber. The price of lumber actually dropped, right? Early in the year, the price went up over 200%, causing a lot of hiccup for builders. But the price has come down now and continues to come down. What is that going to do to the home buyer, to the home builders? Are they going to be able to quickly build more homes? That means the supply is going to be more supply and hence the price is going to go down. I don't know. You know, these things takes a while before it shows up in the market because the price of lumber is dropped does not mean tomorrow the price is just going to show up in, with the builders. No, that's not what happened. So that's, those are just the national news that can affect prices, right? But when you bring it down to our states, state of Maryland, DC and Virginia, this is the region we're in. When you look at it, um, when we're talking about how prices are trending, we have to look at the statistic, remove emotion from it, remove sentiment from it. It's statistic that we have to look at because that is what will give us a picture of what is going on. So in Maryland, as of June, we're talking about Maryland from Montgomery County to all the way to Eastern Shore to the mountains of Garrett County. The average price in Maryland for June is 442,000. So that is just Maryland, right? But that's Maryland. You're not buying the state of Maryland. You're not buying in Garrett County. You're not buying in uh, Talbot County. If you're buying in Montgomery County, that has nothing to do with you. If you're buying in Prince George's County, it has nothing to do with you. So let's break it down to our county. Because prices in Talbot County is different from prices in Montgomery County. So in Montgomery County, the average price for June is 500000 that is like 14% high increase when you compare to uh, 2020, 2020, June of 2020. In Prince George's County, the average price is 470. This is an increase of 21% when you compare it to June of 2020. In DC market, the average price is $700,000. That is an increase of 14%, an increase of 14% compared to 2020. That is the uh, in a uh, DMV area, in Baltimore City metro area, Baltimore City, Baltimore County, the average price is 355. That is an increase as well. So 
when you talk about the house price trend as of june of 2021 price is still trending high when you would compare it to what it was last year and demand is still very strong and we have a lot of corporate buyers that are buying and renting the house are coming in with cash so this is what buyers are competing with so when you ask me what is going on with the house prices is it trending down or trending low or staying the same is trending high i'm sorry to say but it's trending high that's what we are seeing right now although we are not seeing a lot of over uh bidding uh, as it was in april and may but the thing also is still trending high and it's not looking like there's going to be any tsunami of foreclosure why because like i said earlier we have a lot of buyers that are corporate buyer cash buyer we have a lot of buyers that are putting substantial amounts of money down 25 percent you know in the last um few months conventional loan is the, the way to go people are not taking uh fha loan so that tells you the market is going to is not going to drop the house prices is still trending high that is what is going on as of june july what is going to happen in july i don't know yet i don't have the crystal ball but i can tell you based on what i see every day price is not going down that is my answer all right so if you're looking to buy sell or move in the maryland dc or virginia region contact us below we'll take care of and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you get updates once i upload a new video happy summer